Three months ago, two special people went in search of someone even more special. I'm Tara Gupta. And I'm Nora Saravale. So what genitalia are you hoping to pin today? It has a bitchy face. Peace out. And the finalists are the chick with the voice. I can sing so well. The Canadian. <laughs> Sorry? The girl with the obnoxious glasses. The only remotely viable candidate. That's me. Honey, you're fabulous. Lies have been told. I have three Oscars and two Emmys. Hearts have been won. You're slouching. Tears have been shed. People have been sleeping. But tonight, the journey comes to an end and we reveal Boob Tubes. Next top anchor. Pre recorded from Wellesley College, you're watching Boob Tube. Welcome to Wellesley College Television's Boob Tube. I'm Tara Gupta. And I'm Melissa Joe. Let's crack into Wellesley in a nutshell. Many stores in the Ville, including Roche Brothers and Boloco, are now selling wine and beer. Said town of Wellesley citizens after following eager students into the stores, they are. It's an exciting month in Wellesley, Massachusetts. BJ Novak and Colson Whitehead will be coming to town and the Rocky Horror Picture Show will be played on campus. Unfortunately for Wellesley students, these are three separate events. The libraries recently installed 3D printers for student use. Oh, our students can definitely think of a few uses for them, bringing a whole new meaning to print jobs. See the same world through different eyes. Take home informational STI posters. Glide on our lube slip and slide. Discover the world of sex carnival. Let the fun begin. Sex carnival, power to the poon. In partnership with Sex Carnival Cruise Lines. Come to Sex Carnival on October 21st from 5 to 7 in Tishman. Scotland voted to remain a dependent nation of Great Britain. Scotland looked around, realized it wasn't getting any younger, decided to have a bottle of wine and give England a call. ISIS's media campaign has launched the hashtag All Eyes on ISIS to proliferate their message. In response, American media strategists have launched the hashtag All Pies on ISIS, hoping to redirect web traffic to Shah's Uptown Patisserie, a well-known bakery adored by many New York City locals. An MIT study named Mesa, Arizona the most conservative city in the United States this year. Wellesley College Democrats are planning a mission trip this winter session. Sign up through the CWS website. Men's rights activist Mike Sacco recently commented on the Ray Rice incident by arguing that it wasn't him hitting her that knocked her out, but him hitting her and her hitting the rail on the elevator that knocked her out. Say police, well, we've got a lot of bullets to arrest now. And now to Ali Larkham with a special report. Resting bitch face is a phenomenon that plagues almost everyone in the nation. From cats, to frat boys, to your sweet grandmother, this epidemic is currently sweeping Wellesley College's campus. I'm Allison Larkham, and today we are exploring Resting Bitch Face. No one quite knows the origins of resting bitch face, but some specialists suggest that it has evolved in the female species as a defense mechanism against the male gaze. The process of diagnosis usually involves extensive testing by the male species before the male can discern that the female clearly just has a bitchy face. Symptoms of resting bitch face normally include dead eyes, a cold heart, and no soul. Resting bitch face normally affects women aged 12 to 98. New types of resting face are emerging on Wellesley's campus. Notable examples include resting, they're serving mac and cheese tonight face, resting, last night was pub night face, and resting midterm face. It's a Thursday night and they're serving mac and cheese and Lulu tonight, so put on your resting I Have Gas Faces, Wellesley. This is Allison Larkham, signing off. Thanks for joining us here on BoobTube. Remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And most importantly, stay perky. Turn the world on with a smile